Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Gambia College. So here on Better Future Production with myself, Galo Gambia, and of course today is a special day. It's a day of presidency, it's a day of aspirants, and of course it's a day of dialogue. With me here today are presidential aspirants of the Gambia College Students Union, forthcoming election. And of course I will allow them to introduce themselves and then we kick start. I have somebody on my right side, but as I said, ladies first, so I must go with this. Ladies first, I will allow the lady, the Miss of Gentlemen, to introduce herself first. Good day, Your Excellency. Good day. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. And good evening to you all. I am Fatou Amiyafa, second year student, pursuing advanced diploma secondary, majoring in home science and SES. Um, I, am, I am the aspiring candidate for team revolutionists. Team revolutionists. We have various teams, or we have many teams in the college. Okay, <laughs> fine. And then I will go straight to my right hand. Your Excellency, good day. Yeah, good day, Galo Gambia, but I believe first I have to uh, introduce you. <laughs> Mr. Galo Gambia, you are seeing that. Okay, anyways, uh, I am Mohamed Balo, uh, a third year or a final year student at the Gambia College, pursuing on my course yes. advanced diploma, secondary as a program, and my majors are business management and accounting, uh, vying for the of the presidency. Uh, I am an independent candidate. Wow, I love that. Huh? We have you know, members that have a party, and of course we have independent candidates, and he is an independent candidate. <coughs> now even accountants want to be president, so I can see. Let's go, it's Gambia College life, right? So you know, like, <laughs> so managers, not accountants. Managers, right? <laughs> so your excellency, good day. Good day, madam. How are you? I'm fine. Please do tell us your name. Say good evening to you all, and good evening viewers, and uh, thank you for inviting us here, and we will be really upset. Um, my name is Asan Yago, I'm a team business lead for Better Gambia College, and uh, I am major in English and Science, and I am a year 2 student. Year 2 student. Yes. So we have both year 2 and year 3 students. <coughs> year 3 students even are buying in for position. Anyway, that will be this, you know, that will be this course of camera. So from here we will discuss about that. <laughs> and to begin my question in now will be your reasons of aspiring to become president. Because I believe every individual go in for something because of a particular reason that he or she has or he or she is being you know pursued or because you have sought you have seen such and then you want to go in for that. So then I want to know your reasons. What are the main reasons why you guys want to go in for this position. You want to go in for presidency, not for only staff. Now you're going in for the Gambia College Students Union, a body that is responsible for the entire affairs of the Gambia College Students. To begin with would be your excellency Mohammed, what are your reasons for buying in for the position of presidency? Okay, thank you uh, very much for that wonderful question. The late uh, it will be answered in mm -hmm. So there are so many reasons, but like we cannot discuss all the reasons here, but we will be able to discuss some of the main reasons yeah, that we need yeah. some of the viewers will be also able to will also be able to understand those ones. Mm -hmm. And among those reasons we have uh, the fraudulent practices that have been happening in the Gambia College. Uh, we have those for, uh, among those fraudulent practices too, we have one of them is the issue of marriage. And the issue of math is now a connection or an important network. It now comes to be a chain. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a problem in your math, at the end of the day, you are not going to be uh, giving your attestation. Exactly. So you will see Gambia for students who will yeah. graduate uh, from maybe, let's say, in 2018, and it will take them maybe for a period of six months or full year before they get their attestation simply because of this math issue. Mm -hmm. So this math issue is not only the School of Education, neither the School of Agri, but the whole four sister schools. Mm -hmm. But it's like uh, the, the, the major problem is in the School of uh, Education. So it's among those reasons that uh, 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 motivated me to go in for the position of the presidency. Okay, so that is to say you want to end the problem <coughs> of mark issues. Yeah, that is why that. you're buying in. So that is among your reasons. As you yeah, said, there are many reasons. Yeah, so but among those reasons is to eradicate mark problems yeah. in the Gander College. Yeah. That's 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 understood. And we'll get into much details on to that mark issue because I have some questions for you guys on mark issues. And to you, the lady in the midst of gentlemen. What are your reasons as a lady? What you know motivated you? What inspired you to pick up that mantra not to be you know a vice president? Because sometimes they believe that ladies are meant to be VPs only. 
But now that you've said, no, we have to break this silence, we have to ensure that we're standing for presidency as well. What are your reasons for binding for the Christian of presidency? Thank you very much, Carlo. <laughs> Um, the main reason that motivated me to buy for the position of the presidency is, um, I think before going there, I would like to thank the Gambia constituents that motivated me to contest for presidency under the, uh, under, um, the student union. And uh, one thing that they have seen in me is that I have represented them in 2018, and they believe that I can represent the entire general student body of the Gambia College in, 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 in the upcoming uh, student leadership. So um, these are one of the things, the students give me that courage and motivation that Yafa, if you can represent Gambia to international level, why can't you represent um, the Gambia College students um, and then make their voice to be heard, not only within the Gambia College, but nationally. And also the other reason that motivated me to um, vie for this position is to ensure that Gambia College students feel at home. They feel that they, they, Gambia College is part of them and they are Gambia College. In order to do that is to bring unity and peace among each other. As the slogan of the Gambia College said, the motto of the Gambia College said, one student, one voice, meaning that we cannot achieve all these problems that we are going to, um, 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 uh, we are encountering at the college. We cannot, um, um, the policy that all these affairs, all of us are having right now, we cannot achieve it if we are not united and speak in one voice. And that is my number one priority to ensure that Gambia College students speak one voice because all these problems cannot be solved if we don't speak one voice if we are not united. That is, that is, yes. I think that is, that is a convincing reason. <coughs> yes, you, you were telling us that you went or you were vying for this position because of the inspiration and motivation students gave you and the trust that they have in you. And you further said that you want the students' voice to be heard and of course you want students to be united. I believe we will discuss much in details on that. Today is, a, today is an excellency diet. Today is an excellency day. And of course, I will allow my other excellency to tell us the reason, as I ask these people the same question, what are your reasons for buying in for presidency for uh, the Gambia College students? Yeah, first of all, I would like to say thank you for the platform. Yeah. And, uh, um, I have two main reasons. Um, and they are external and internal, okay. and internal that things that are happening in the college and external things that are happening outside the college. Okay. Um, okay. I started studying, I you know I love studying, and then I started studying in 2013. Mm -hmm. Okay. And still at that I was a youth leader, an unqualified teacher, mm -hmm. sometimes some people call it untrained teacher. Mm -hmm. Then from 2014 to 2017, I was my PDC. Okay, and from 2017 to, to date, um, I'm closer to now under the Minister of Basic and Secondary School Education. Yes. And uh, I am training teachers on Jolly Point, that is helping children to be able to read and write. And also training teachers on Clark, by how to write Clark. Mm -hmm. And currently advising the book on Jolly and I'm not on Black. Mm -hmm. And I tell a lot of teachers on Patay Costa and Gay Sanjay Costa. Mm -hmm. And around 2018, I trained some teachers at um, SO Costa. Mm -hmm. Even the current um, executive, member, executive members of the current student union, I trained some of them. Okay. So when I met them at the college, mm -hmm. they told me, You must participate in the Gambia College Student Leadership. Mm -hmm. Then I said, I asked them, Why? They said, Because we know you can do it. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, okay, then since then, I started um, asking myself this question. Okay, till one day I asked one old man, he told me, um, if the good one refuses to leave, mm -hmm. then the bad will be mm -hmm. And if that happens, it's not going to be good for the generation. Mm -hmm. So plus, that is one of the things that mm -hmm. motivated mm -hmm. me. Yes, so when I was enrolled, my previous time I know there are some problems that are happening at the college, and they are still happening at the college. Mm -hmm. So when I look at this thing, I said to myself, and since from 2014 to today, mm -hmm. and then there is no change. Or the change Still is now, yeah, it's now ongoing. Yes. Then I said to myself, I must stood and do something. Then that was the time I formed a team called Business. Okay. And we named that Business. We have a vision. To have a vision, like to have a bigger vision. Exactly. And then I'll come to those issues. Like, what are some of the visions that you guys have for the Gambia yeah, College? Exactly. And then I believe that question will come subsequently. Yes. So and and then, we have a slogan okay. called um, Lead for Better Gambia. Lead for Western College. Yes, so, and then we have vision, we booked the vision, and we call it Action Club. Okay. 
was when we did every candidate will have an awesome plan. Mm -hmm. Then before campaign, you combine all the awesome plan and have a master plan. Mm -hmm. And still, then we will publish it for student to read. Mm -hmm. so, so that they will know what we will do if they are in, in, in the office. I must confess that if any of these candidates wins, the vote of the students. Mm. I believe we will have a change because I said this in one of the show that I am afraid of the upcoming executive because we need a strong executive that will continue with the threats that your excellency get and the team have done. And I believe with this, I am convinced for the main time to say we will surely have a gallery of colleagues of competent executive and the students are willing to give their votes based on competency and not the individual they know. And then my second question now will be, aside from uh, your reasons, because and I believe from your reasons, I can sense some of the plans that you guys have for the Gambia College students. Now you say if elected as president, what are some of the plans that you guys have in place? What are some of the agendas that you guys have for the Gambia College? And of course, the Gambia College students, more especially the union as, as, as uh, the biggest association or the main association that is overseeing the entire affairs of the Gambia College Street. What are the plans that you guys have in place to begin with the moment? Okay, okay. <clears throat> thank you very much. Uh, it's indeed a very good question too. Uh, there are so many plans that we have, but among these plans, I think there is a single plan that I'll come all over uh, all these other plans. Mm -hmm. and that plan is like set a commission. Okay. And setting a commission, or let me just call it maybe a council of this other one, mm -hmm. we need to make so this commission consists of different people from the different four sister schools that we have in the Gambia College. Mm -hmm. Like today, if we talked about these four sister schools, uh, we are talking about the School of Education, the School of Nursing, uh, the School of Public Health, and the School of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. Now, we will make so we will have this council. If this council is available, we will have representative from each school. Now, these are the people who will at least know the, uh, the problems of their own people better than we executives. Mm -hmm. Now, these are the people who will be responsible of collecting raw data from their, uh, from their various schools. schools. Yeah. Then they will bring them if we have meetings. Like, time to time, we will try and have meetings. Like, uh, we said there is this uh, uh, saying in Madeka, or let, let me just call it maybe an idiomatic expression that, you know, so I believe, you know, with those people who you have uh, in their various schools, they are every day mingling with their those people in and out. So they will be at a better chance to know their problems than we executives. Mm -hmm. Then during our durational meetings that we are going to conduct mm -hmm. with this council, that is uh, my executives and I, we will make sure they will voice out the problems or their different problems that we come with. Uh, from their schools. Then if their problems are hard, we will combine together, we will come together and have one way to make so we come from the administration and solve the issue. That's, that's, that. that's a convincing point and then I'll get back to that point <coughs> in the reflection. I'll just move to the lady in the midst of the internet. I love it when ladies are in the midst of the It's always nice and we are, we, are, we are heading to that era because personally I'll be a president in some days. I'll be a president of this country. <laughs> so ladies need to be leading all the time, right? It was asking a question that I asked him, like what agenda do you have? Because he made mention of establishing a committee or a council that will ensure that they will investigate on the problems in various schools and then think of those problems. What are your agendas with your team revolutionists to ensure that if elected in power, you tell the students, or oh, now before being elected, now telling the students that these are the plans that I have for you guys to convince them to say, give me your vote and these plans will be executed. What are those plans you have? Each and every one of us um, needs to put into consideration that Gambia College right now, the student needs to take ownership of the union. Sure. And that is one of our visions, what we, um, one of our plans that we want to put in place to ensure that students take ownership of the union. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the Gambia College Constitution, the Student Union Constitution states that there are three um, 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 branches of this. You have the executive, you have the legislative, and then you have this, uh, the Congress. Now, if the executive are doing their responsibility, and then the legislative is dominant, the Congress is dominant, obviously the executive's work will not be recognized. Mm -hmm. So our plan as a team, the first thing that we are going to put into place is to ensure that the current executive have done it. They um, set up a legislative, but it is not that effective. And many students don't know that there is a legislative. 
So in my council, if we come into office, the first thing that we are going to do is to have people that will represent these students, not the interest of the executive, because these uh, uh, three sectors are independent sectors. Mm -hmm. Then the legislative will be there to, uh, uh, to, to, to do their work, and the Congress will uh, also do their work. Mm -hmm. The Congress are the electorates, the people that will vote us into office. And these people should know the uh, union, and they should take the responsibility. With regards to the plans also that we are going to put in place, um, if we assume office, um, is that as uh, the, 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 the problems with regards to mark issues, um, the problems with regards to the internet that people are complaining. You know, you have, um, have mark issue questions. Yes, for all of you. You have, you have, you. Mm -hmm. The mark issue itself it is our concern. Mm -hmm. But um, one thing that I believe is that um, if the president is representing the students at the uh, governing council meeting, mm -hmm. meaning that you are representing the students are there to give out their mm -hmm. problems mm -hmm. and to ensure that. People know, or the uh, any law that is going to be um, put in place in the Gambia College to be um, something that is going to um, favor both the administration and the students. And one thing that we are going to put in place is that, how it, um, if we come into office, is to ensure that office of uh, um, academics office that is going to be mass office. You understand? Mass office. If we can have a teaching practice. Uh, Practical um, office, we can have admission office. There is a need for um, Gambia College to have a mark issue. I think I will come back to that yes. because I am sensing a strategy, yes. like that, that is sort of a strategy. Yes. But then I will come back to that point again okay, because I want you to elaborate more on that uh, mark office that you're trying to bring up with your excellency. Mm -hmm. like, your excellency, like, what are the plans that you and your team recently have in place if voted into office? like? The plans that students will hear that yes, I should give my vote to team revolutionaries, or I should give my vote to an independent candidate, or I should give my vote to another team. And of course, that is to say, we have one of the aspirants who is not with us here today, and I believe that is because of reasons <coughs> beyond his own control, who is uh, Mr. BZ. And BZ, we wish you all the best as well. And I wish you could have been here with us, but no, it's, you know, notwithstanding, it's understanding as well. What are the plans that you have in place with your team to ensure that, you know, Gambia College students, as you say, your interest is students? What are your plans for students as well? Okay, thank you, Madam. Once again, the platform. Um, um, you know, my team, as team visionaries, um, it's not a one man team. Mm -hmm. It's a team where we discuss and share ideas. Mm -hmm. And then when we share ideas, we realize that there are three things that the college needs at the moment. Mm -hmm. And that is outside the college, mm -hmm. and that is pharmacy outside. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing is issues happening in the classroom mm -hmm. and also issues happening in the college. Mm -hmm. So these things are happening in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Now, outside is like establishing pharmacy to other sectors. Mm -hmm. um, we also sketch something that we said. Um, wow, he even came with an yeah, action plan, right? Yes, that's I can true. see that these presidents are really ready. They are yeah. ready for, for, for this office, right? Exactly. I will tell you the office is not easy there. Yeah. But not this time, I wish you all the best. You can continue. Um, um, okay. I will first of all talk about the issues happening. There is the pharmacy issues. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we want to have pharmacy with Jawa. Mm -hmm. You know, the government collecting lab is possible and then stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then in that case, you have to buy fuel. Mm -hmm. But if you have pharmacy with Jawa, at least the fuel price will be low for the of the students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other thing also, we want to talk about, we talk, talk with um, GCU, so there's going to be a transport that bosses yeah, those, yeah. yeah the company that transports. Yeah. We want to talk to them so that at least. The other schools and they can help us with bodies and low price. Mm -hmm. Yes, the other issue also, um, you know, I think I am a regular blood donor. Okay. I do it blood every four months. Excellent. Yeah, so then when I look at this, I said to myself, I think we can also use this. So I raised this point with my team. Then we said, now what we do is we will talk with the camera health center mm -hmm. and also the students as well mm -hmm. so that they can do it voluntarily. It's not a force, it's mm -hmm. voluntarily. And then after that, then the students will be in three medication at the hospital, provided that they provide their yeah, ID card. Okay. Their ID card. Okay. Yes. These are one of the few things that we want to establish outside. Okay. So now, like those are external, external things, things, like to say, 
trying to establish a, you know, a partnership with Jar Oil, exactly. and of course trying to get a partnership with the transport service, mm -hmm. and now even to the hospital. Exactly. Now you have three main external things that you wish exactly. that you know you want mm -hmm. to carry out for the Gambian College exactly. students, mm -hmm. right? And then what are the internal plans that you have for the students? Yes. Uh, before we move, I think maybe I have something to discuss or something to say about this point. Okay. Like uh, for a lot of our external uh, objectives that we would want to attain, mm -hmm. I believe we have a clinic in the Gambia College, mm -hmm. and it is not uh, known by most of the new intakes. Mm -hmm. uh, that is that is those that are just in. Mm -hmm. So some of them sometimes, not even some of them, it is all of them. It is obligatory upon all of them to pay uh, an amount of is it five hundred. So this time around it is not increased to five hundred. I don't know how much they have been money to increase it, but it's like it is just going higher and higher every year. Mm -hmm. So this year it's five hundred dollars. So before him going out to partner with some of those people who are external, why can't we empower our own clinic that is at the school? Level because students are paying at the end of the day, some of them will not even never get the medication. So, why can't we just use that one to empower our own? It's interesting, like, yes. I, 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 I have an issue with regards to that, that issue. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's a very good plan, um, it is something that the entire nation would benefit from it. But right now, as he said, Gambia College, um, in Gambia College leadership, there are two things that is the internal factor and the ex external factor. Mm -hmm. And as I said, Gambia College have um, capacity. They have human resources. That is, the students, they, 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 we have very talented students. All what the students need is to empower them, to build their capacity. Because if you look at the other college comprises of four sister schools, you have the nurses, you have the public health officers, you have the teachers, and you have the agriculture. Now, with regards to his um, um, plants, um, blood donor, and all those things, he said, we have a clinic. And that clinic, in fact, in my plan, in, in our plans as a team, we want to empower the students of the Gambia College within the four sister schools. And I believe that that clinic is more concerned with the, the yes. school, of, uh, school of nursing and school of public health, where you have the health minister one and the health minister two, in collaboration with those people and then the Gambia College medical team to ensure that that office is being equipped. You understand? We in fact started that um, pro um, process by talking to donors outside to help us with that ambulance. Because students in more expensive, those living in the dormitory, find it very difficult when they fall sick so to I go and then to get into the hospital. So what he said, the blood... I think I will use some time to fix my... Yes, don't worry. Yes. Like, it's a lot. So it's okay. Like, <laughs> you know, we, like we can hold it today because I want to see that interaction <laughs> yes, and exactly. how, how the presidents get... Yeah, how yeah, the presidents yeah, get yeah, to yeah. yeah. so, I saw, I saw... Yeah, you you know, like, we are going to do a We have that fantasy with them. And uh, they will provide ambulance with us. Mm -hmm. um, so what, so one thing about team is like this we make research course before we do anything. So uh, I personally went to that clinic at the college mm -hmm. to donate blood. I was supposed to donate blood this morning. So he told me we don't donate blood here. Yeah. But well, if we have equipment, Okay. Yes. So that, I, I think I'll interject there. Exactly. Now, okay, that individual in charge told you guys that or told you it was me, yes. that they don't donate blood, blood yeah, yeah, but yeah. if they have the equipment they why we need to we need so to. i believe okay having a, a strategic plan to yeah. ensure that that clinic is well equipped yeah. yes yes now sure the reason why we want to have that balance with the hospital or the health center the camera mm -hmm. is um, it will take time before they will have the equipment mm -hmm. and make things happen. So, probably having the partnership will even make things easier, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, yes. I'm seeing you. Yes, and another thing, the mm -hmm. things that are happening in the castle are like um, mm -hmm. some of the lectures are saying lecture materials. Mm -hmm. Now, what they will do is they put their assignment in the book. Okay? Now, they will ask you to buy the book and do the assignment. Mm -hmm. if, you don't, if you don't buy the book, you don't have the assignment. So, me, no marks for you. So, me, that it is compulsory for students to buy those. that lecture materials. Mm -hmm. And to me, it should be like that. And then we even spoke with the administrator they told us that lectures are just some of the lectures, not all. Mm -hmm. They are just doing them directly. Mm -hmm. Now the other thing is like um, after exam or assessment, students will not even know how well or bad they have performed. Mm -hmm. And our team is their papers like, will not be given. Exactly. Only marks there is no papers. Sometimes they don't even publish marks. And still now marks are pending. Um I think still now some of these yeah, three students, some of them don't even get their assessment because of these marks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, also, we also want to have a 
could you see a bank? Because if you, you cannot tap good land or, um, in the aspect of conducive environment. Mm -hmm. So then there is power outage and there is no good verification. Mm -hmm. But if you have a standby, if you have dialogue with the Amazon, a standby generation, mm -hmm. where when there is power outage, the generation just pick up and then mm -hmm. continue on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the other things we have within the quality is like um, the toilets. I think we are one expert on the guy. Mm -hmm. I just think the it's not toilets normal. and water is mm -hmm. the problem for us. Mm -hmm. um, especially those things, mm -hmm. you know, you sometimes want to drink, go out, go out you want to have water to drink. You have to go out and buy water to drink. Sometimes you want to go to the toilet, you go there, sometimes you find it difficult to kill yourself. Mm -hmm. And there are people staying in the metro. So like that is to say, like the environment, being conducive, means the environment has to be healthy. Right? Exactly. I think I will get that. Is why because it's you are mentioning health. so many important points. Yes, I, mean, I would like to know certain points, but then I want to bring up this issue again. Because you have made mention of Mars, and you have made mention of Mars, and she have also made mention of Mars. Which I believe this is a concern for you all as parents to say the Gambia College is a math problem institution. And then you all are affected in one way or the other. Myself here, who is now born, was affected in one way or the other. And then to begin with her, I will ask, what plans do you have in place? Because you have started mentioning uh, uh, an academic, uh, a math room, like a math department, whereas math will be kept and then math issues will become a thing of past in the yes. Like, what plans do you have? What mechanisms or strategies are you going to put in place to ensure that such office is secure? Because I believe it's not easy to have an office in the country. Sure. It's really sure. not easy because sure. even the staff had an office just last year. So how how best will you try to ensure that Mark have an office first? And of course, the mechanisms to ensure that the moment students are done with an assessment, Mark's admin is immediate. Yes. Um, thank you very much. I believe um, that one, as I said, dialogue is something that is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And as leaders, you need to be somebody who can develop very well. Mm -hmm. And I think in the Ghana College um, administration, as I said, um, when you are representing the students you are going there, the interest of the students is what matters to you. Exactly. And I can remember in 20s, uh, during my PTC time, um, students will finish their exams on Friday and Saturday they are asked to come and get their marks. You understand? It's all because of their plan. And I said this, these math issues cannot be removed from the Gardner College when we don't equip the Gardner College with human resources. Mm -hmm. You understand? With regards to lecturers' issues, having part-time lecturers, um, <clears throat> there is a strategy that needs to be put in place. And what are those strategies? Um, a math room should be created there and math office. Like the School of Education should send a representative or they have, um, like they say, director of maths. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that particular person, will have an assistance from all uh, four sister schools. And those people, if I am elected as a president first, I will push that to the council meeting. That is the governing council meeting. And I will ensure that that issue is being addressed and that issue is being taken seriously. And when that happens is that all four sister schools, there should be a representative there. Or this particular director of maths and academics, that particular office will be responsible for lecturers when you finish your exams immediately, you mark there is a duration that needs to that should be give, that is given to lecturers. And I will put this thing to Gambia College lecturers are given some skill, some some tokens after every end of exams. You understand? So and it what, means obviously mark should be released on time. It should be released on time. But because that there is a uh, lack of human capital or human resources within uh, the, 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 the Gambia College, that is the lecturers, they don't have enough um, um, lecturers. That leads to all these math issues. A huge class size. A huge class size because a lecturer will be working as a part time lecturer. You'll be thinking of your work while you will also be thinking of having 700, 800 students to mark their papers. So you find it very difficult. And Gambia College is an institution that needs help, not only within uh, internal but outside. Because I can remember in PTC, all the PTC programs were sponsored by the World Bank. You understand? So if we come into office in that, as our team, what we want to do is because I personally and some of my team members have been working with a lot of international organizations. So bringing those partners mm -hmm. to come and then to, um, um, partner with the Gambia College, like what we did um, when I went to represent the Gambia in the Global Youth Summit, I talked to one international organization that is the International Research um, Foundation uh, organization. I talked to them, I told them that our institution needs to be, uh, the student needs 
to be built, their capacity needs to be built on the research work. You understand? Because Gambia College, if you look at it correct, very soon, us, the year twos, will be, um, uh, the second year students will be um, starting our project while the year three students are on their project work. But many people find it difficult to write their projects. Why is it that because they are not um, exposed, their capacity is not built? I think I'll research back work. to that. On yes. The, what plans and how far, how far have we gone in communicating with other individuals? Mm -hmm. As my Honorable uh, Your Excellency made mention earlier, that the college need external partners as well. Yes. So I'll just come back to you, uh, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. Consider, you know, concerning the math issue, this has become a problem that so many students in the Gambia College have <coughs> been through. And most of us have once encountered such, if not, you know, uh, all the time encountering, but there are most of the time that you have, you have such. And then in your deliberation at the beginning, you made mention of establishing a committee, council or uh, uh, a member organization, whereas we will have representatives from various schools. Yeah. How effective do you think that establishment of council will have to remedy the situation of math issues? Because this is the biggest problem in the Gambia College. If we have a college free maths, then we will have a college free of all problems. Yeah, what exactly. plans, how you know, effective do you think? This is very so, I think I was actually to say about that. Um, like establishing a council. Mm -hmm. That council is already established. You know, the constitution says like each school has representative in the student union. We have students in the school of education in the union, mm -hmm. students from school of public, students from public health, and students from school of nursing. Mm -hmm. So the union, the thing he did is already there. It's already there. It's now already it's like, saying uh, it's that like, it's already there. Yes. But now I want to know, okay, mm -hmm. is that same committee or council that you are talking about, or you have other council in mind? And if yes, still back to my question, how effective will you think that will have on a Gambia policy map issues? It's like I will throw back this question to him. Let him mention you a few people. Mm -hmm. If this council consists of, let's say, even if it's a minimum of two people, mm -hmm. a minimum of two people from each school, mm -hmm. let him mention you two people that he knows that are from this country. Students don't know those people. Mm -hmm. I don't know that you are part of the council. You never mentioned to me that you are part of the council. How am I going to put my problems to you? If I have any problem, the first place where I would think of mm -hmm. is the staff, that is the uh, Student Teachers Association. Mm -hmm. Yes. From that place, I would move to the next ladder, that is the main union. Okay. So now yeah. that is to say, if if already there is a council, as he may mention, but the council is not even effective or it is not active or it is not even known by the general students, but exactly. then still back to your question, how effective do you think you establishing a council to have representative from various schools will help in ensuring that the college encounter more math issues still now on the strategy or the ways that you think this thing will be effective? Math problems upon math problems. So mm -hmm. it's like because of these math problems now the uh, name of the institution is being changed from the Gambia College to the Gambia College. Yeah, they kept believe, saying Gambia College. Yeah, exactly. Since the establishment of this institution, I believe it is one of the most uh, 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 biggest problems that the students have been encountering. Mm -hmm. encountering. That is why you know, now the name of the institution externally students have changed in Google of the name mm -hmm. that is from the Gambia College to Gambia College. But we believe mm -hmm. uh, if I am elected into office, uh, my executives and I will make sure the name will be changed from the Gambia College to Gambia Dia. Mm -hmm. yes. Gambia Dia. Yes, um, exactly. so, so, but still, you don't tell me the structure yes, is like how effective. Let me, let me, let me help because you. Because we are I, running out of time. Yes, time exactly. is almost gone. So I almost. believe the, 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 the technical team are allowed to another time, time, time. It's almost okay, okay. gone. And Let's 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 all the lecturers submit their marks immediately after 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 exam. Yes, yes. 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 Yes.
is one way to uh, knowing the ways forward to solve a problem that exactly. you are encountering exactly. as an individual and of course as you know as an institution. Exactly. So that is to say, the college students need to know their representative, their executive, and of course the executive should make sure that the students also know them. Exactly. I believe I will have more dialogue with you guys. Yes. What I'm saying, I have to complete my statement. If we have some of those, uh, if we have the, the, the council, if the council is not known, remember this council is not being elected into power like we did. Mm -hmm. This council is just picked randomly by the executives in these various schools. Yeah, but now, all the council is working directly yeah. with the education minister. Now, education do you think if this council was doing their work, we would have been complaining of mass uh, yeah. issues yeah. yesterday? We would have been yeah. complaining of this mass issue. But I believe with the council that I am going to set, I believe with the council that I am going to set, where we will have different representatives from different uh, schools, mm -hmm. where we will have at least duration meeting, maybe duration meeting, maybe at least every trimester, even if it is going to be once or maybe twice. These people are going to come up with their different problems, and I know every school is going to come with this smart problem. Now, if they come with this smart problem, we will make sure we will also directly talk about the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think I think I will advise you to read the student union constitution yes. so that we can start. Okay. But there are certain things, you know, like there's something that I usually, I usually tell teachers that I tell. It's like before you are a teacher, you like it. Before you are a teacher, you are like it. I'm not like it. Like, I'm not like it. I'm not like it. I'm not like it. I'm not like it. I'm not there is no council that is established. Exactly. One thing that he needs to understand this uh, here that is uh, the student, uh, the leader that is elected to be responsible, that is the constitutional mandate given to the president to be responsible for these math issues is the education ministry. And my team is saying that when we establish, um, the, when we um, uh, ensure that we have a math office, you understand, or an academic office, whereas those um, particular office would be responsible for math. Yes. It is going to directly working with the education minister, I not the council minister. Remember that the constitution said each ministry should have eight man committee and each school should at least send two representatives. Now this is the question. Beauty among the four sister schools. Yes. Um, just recently, um, I see a kind of like populist. Uh, the students that are in contest for this presidency. Mm -hmm. But again, there are certain schools, there are certain portfolios, certain schools, and still they have legacy. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, yesterday, just yesterday, the populist are under the uh, spy, mm -hmm. giving chance to those schools so for them to apply. Okay. So, meaning, still, the unity is not there. And so, like, unity, as you guys mentioned, it's, exactly. really, like, well, it's very important. And then, but still, now, you said uh, this, uh, this council, I believe. If students give you their vote, you will prove to them onto how best you can ensure that this council is not just a council of, that is established, but a council that will be active. I am afraid that yes. time is up, and then I don't want to bring up any question. Now I will just allow them to give us their concluding remarks because I really don't like calling them as last words. Okay. <laughs> to begin with, I will give it to the Irish lady herself. The lady, you know, I love ladies, so I will give it to the ladies first. You can give us your concluding remarks, and thank you so much for having me in the studio. Thank you very much, um, Carlo Gambia. One thing that I always that that my team, that is the mighty team revolution stand, is that student voice must be heard. Mm -hmm. And that voice cannot be heard if we are not united. Mm -hmm. And each and every member of the team revolutions is calling each and every student out there to come and rally behind team revolutions. Because your voice cannot be heard if you are we are not united. Let's speak one voice in order for us to have a better than the college. Let's you cannot have one voice. You cannot have a better than the college if, if your voice is not heard. But your voice cannot be heard if we are not united. So peace is everything. Peace okay. is everything. I love I love that statement that peace is everything. Team revolutionists, they're saying that. Give them your votes and then they will ensure that peace stands, you know, you know, there is peace among students of the Gambia College. And of course your voices will be heard. So you there watching Team Revolution is said. You give them your votes and then your voices will be heard. And then to you, Your Excellency, Team Visionary. Yeah, they go on the team like that. <laughs> also, your guys, Deep for Better Gambia College. Deep for Better Gambia. Yes. So just we believe in the summit program through dialogue. Mm -hmm. okay? And uh, the only thing I would tell the student is, if you are looking for the leader you need, mm -hmm. honestly, I will tell you, I am right in front of you. I think that statement yes. said it all. Mm -hmm. And that statement has concluded mm -hmm. everything that if you are looking for a leader, Honestly, that leader is right here. Team Visionary is saying that if you, the student of the Gambia College, is looking for a leader, he is here. He is saying that he is the right president. Taylor Taylor, let's go.
thank you very much. What I would want to put to the students is like everyone is a manager of his or her own. Definitely. Yes. But you know, when we come to these things, we all need not to be managing at the same time. But we need to pick up some people who are at least going to forefront that management. Mm -hmm. And I want people to vote in for me to make sure that you know I forefront, for, I forefront that management. Mm -hmm. So now today in the Gambia College, there are so many other hidden pieces, we do know there are problems. But I believe you will see me in the day of the conference of the night. Your vote, my work. Oh yes, he said, your vote is his work. Yeah. He said, your vote is of course like you give them your vote as team revolutionists and then your problems and your voices as students will be heard. And he also said if you're looking for a leader, huh, don't go anywhere. He's the right person. <laughs> uh, look, BC also have his own uh, slogan. I wish he was here, but then we understand the situation at hand. I am afraid that's all we have for you on the Gambi College So here on Better Future Production. The guests here in the studio were the president and aspirant of the Gambia College Students Union and the host was Galo Gambia. Today my boss is not here in the studio, but I must give a big shout out to him, Lani and Bar. Thank you so much for everything. And of course, to the entire team of Better Future Production, more explicitly, technical team. They are the reason why you sit there watching this show. And I believe you have all enjoyed this show. Please sponsor us. Come on, sponsor us. You see, these presidential aspirants will not only stop in the Gambia College, but they will go at external level. And of course, we have so many issues in the Gambia College that we want to discuss, not only within the college, but even outside the college. So if you wish to sponsor us, please contact the management of Petty Future Production, and then you will be given the green light to sponsor this. So don't forget, it's the Gambia College show on Better Future Production. Till we come your way next week, bye-bye. Thank you.